Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. This reading, this reading is for the 20th to the 26th of December 2021. So I wish you a very Merry Christmas Scorpio. I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Okay, let's see what we have with the cards. Remember, Scorpio, these readings won't resonate with everybody, and they are for seven days only. So just take what resonates with you as always. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not surprising this comes up. As beautiful as Christmas is, there can also be a little bit of stress with it. <laughs> so, yeah, we have stress. Cleanse and detoxify from unnecessary commitments. It might well be to do with Christmas. It could be other factors as well, Scorpio. We have recognition at the bottom of the deck. Admiration for your hard work is coming. If you're stressing about something. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Our lovely Scorpios. So I'm using the Lord Ganesha or Oracle cards. Lord Ganesha is very good at overcoming obstacles, amongst other things. We have number 30, priorities. Maybe needing to prioritise something this week. Or getting some priorities clear, maybe. Let's just pop that under there so you can see it. Okay, Scorpio, let's pull some cards. Your overarching energy first. I am using the Tarot Grand Lux. So what do we have for our lovely Scorpios, please, for the week? Message for Scorpio. Message for Scorpio for the week. Message for Scorpio. Thank you. Three of coins, yeah. This is a card of prioritization, Scorpio. Might well be you are prioritizing something. I mean, it has a number of meanings, but you know, certainly next to that card, it's what I'm seeing. We have the chariot in the challenge position. That's a card of cancer. The knight of swords, message, that is the advice or message from spirit. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, interesting. Wow, some big energies here. We have the Five of Swords, wow. Queen of Wands, I feel this is your energy because it's Mars energy. For me, generally, this is Aries. For me as a reader, male or female. But it's also, for that reason, the energy of Mars. And Mars can, you know, influence Scorpio too. Let's do the wheel. We have the Hierophant. <laughs> this is so beautiful. So beautiful. Seven of Pentacles. I just feel for some of you, you're expecting, I mean, it feels very good in terms of money, career, finances in particular. So we will go through, uh, I'm getting a couple of threads here, Scorpio, so we will go through them in the cards, uh, but it could be in terms of money career, I mean there is pentacles energy here, there is also, I mean we can look at this in terms of relationships too, so let's see what we get with the cards. The message is, you get the recognition for your hard work, but I feel that spirit is pretty much giving you something on a, on a silver platter and it feels really beautiful. I feel for some of you, you're getting some recognition that you've been waiting for. Let's, um, I'm going to pull a clarifier. Let's clarify that three of coins. Cl 
Or I find that three of coins. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands and the Four of Swords. Yeah, okay. So, Scorpio. The Three of Coins is an energy of, it is a hard working energy, can be about working as a team, joining a new team, prioritizing what you're focusing on and working on or working through something here. I mean, it feels in this energy very good in terms of the beginnings of success in money, career, finance coming to you. Um, but again, in other areas, this can be teamwork, collaboration, partnerships, uh, very, very good in terms of, of relationships even, in terms of working through something or working at something. But I feel it's a very good money card. The Four of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So somebody who's working and maybe working effectively in the role that they do. And it might well be for some of you, the Four of Swords is this energy of somebody who is tired. You know, it can be an energy of just being tired and needing to just catch your breath here. With the, four, with the Knight of Wands, this can be a very exciting opportunity. And with the Queen of Wands being here, I feel in this energy, and if you look at the moon, I don't know if you've seen the moon reading that I've done, the moon in Gemini. There's a lot of communication energy coming through in the readings this week. And I feel it's impacted with the moon in Gemini, but it is a full moon in Gemini because it's a very positive, for me, it's quite a positive full moon. Um, and it is this kind of communication feel coming in the next few days. So similarly, I do have this energy of change, positive change. Again, exciting change with that Knight of Wands who is bringing in some kind of opportunity. So for some of you, I feel in this energy, you are getting maybe some recognition for your work in terms of opportunity. Now, that could be with another company, that could be within the company you are in. You could be moving to the next level, getting more responsibility in terms of over the team. Um, again, however this manifests for you, this is just that exciting opportunity being presented to you that brings change. Now, for some of you, it might well be uh, in relationship terms, again, this can also be to do with recovery and seeing the way forward to bring recovery, something that has been tiring. How do we take action? Can we work through this and cement and re-solidify our team, you know, our team together? Can we work through the situation that we're in in terms of relationships so again for some of you it might well be getting your priorities straight and coming up with a plan on how to work through something in terms of love romance relationships or work on a relationship but for, the, for a lot of you it feels very good in terms of money because this is an energy of somebody who really wants the victory they want a success they want to win and again, this energy of something has been challenging. You have faced some kind of challenging circumstances here. Uh, for some of you, it might well be to do with money, career, finances. I mean, for some of you, whether you're employed or not employed, uh, again, there's a feeling of new abundance coming your way. But whatever has challenged you here, whatever, I mean, this can be very strong competitive energy as well. Whatever has challenged you, this is an energy of I'm waiting for the win. I'm going to persevere. I'm going to keep on going. But I'm waiting to see if I've won, if I'm victorious for my sheer hard work and determination and drive and perseverance towards this goal. So again, whether that's to do with promotions and again, more responsibility, more pay and so on and so forth. It might well be other people were in there, were competing for this, you know, job as well. Again, for some of you, this is an energy of just waiting for the victory because this is the challenge position. But it does show that the victory is coming. Two cards of victory here. 
Now again, this energy of conflict and wanting to overcome some kind of conflict and seeing a way of how to take action and work through something might well apply to you in terms of a relationship, whatever that relationship is. We have the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So very good in terms of business with the Wands energy. You know, the Wands holds exciting energy, uh, something that we really want, something that pulls at our heart and soul. Uh, I feel in this energy for some of you, I mean, I feel this is an energy of communication with you holding an opportunity or somebody offering you the opportunity here, especially with this Knight of Wands and we have the Wand with the Queen of Wands here. So I certainly, in terms of business, Spirit is telling you that what you have been persevering towards, what you have been overcoming challenge or competition to get this, this is positive news coming your way that is empowering. Uh, that is that is claiming a win and it feels that kind of energy very good in terms of business and it might well be for some of you you know it's just been stressful you know with other things going on maybe in your life things have just been stressful this can also be an energy of some kind of conversation how do i take control how do i take action to to bring a solution to work towards mending something here. So again, maybe some kind of important communication conversation happening this week, Scorpio. So very empowering energy either way. This is just the energy of, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune with the Hierophant, a higher power at work, the Wheel of Fortune, a higher power at work, things happening when they're meant to happen and it can be a little bit difficult when we're persevering for something we don't see the end in sight we don't know if we're winning or not we don't know if we're claiming the victory we just have to keep on going I mean that is the challenge here um, and spirit is saying this is you getting your recognition the wheel of fortune good luck good fortune being brought into you by the universe this is the universe admiring your hard work and commitment and bringing new abundance, new abundance your way. Yeah. Now in this energy, Scorpio, uh, and again, this is an energy of have faith. You're being watched over here. Uh, this seven of, of coins is a beautiful energy because it is a successful energy. It is an energy of your perseverance will pay off. This is somebody who perseveres. Some, some, sometimes it's called the taking stock card, but a lot of the time, the sevens are all about finding that turning point. And this is that turning point coming your way. What you have been persevering towards, I feel that there is some beneficial energy coming your way where things, there's positive change, positive shifts. The Wheel of Fortune ties in beautifully with endings and beginnings, again, maybe, again, whatever you've pers been persevering on, you finally get the news that you've been waiting for, and that opens maybe some kind of door that you've been waiting to open. So again, this kind of energy of divine timing, divine orchestration, is not in the time that we want. You know, that's the frustrating thing about the seven of coins. I'm working really hard, I'm putting in all this effort, and I don't know whether I'm getting all the, all the reward or the recognition or the money. I'm not where I want to be right now. And this is that card of, of perseverance. But good things come to those that wait. It is that kind of energy here. And it's abundant energy. So I feel it is your time. The universe is saying it's your time. You're going to get the news, the communication that you've been waiting for. And again, full moon in Gemini has a really nice trine with Jupiter. So again, we have Gemini here, we have Jupiter right next to it. I mean, again, this is that communication energy that I touched on in that separate reading. So I just feel in this energy for some of you, the recognition is coming and it's the universe giving you recognition first and foremost. The universe works through people a lot of the time. So I feel whatever this communication is, it's divinely 
inspired and it's it's empowering for you Scorpio it's bringing in some something exciting and again this energy of you bring positive shifts and turning points by persevering you know by persevering on something you overcome you overcome the challenge that's in front of you and release the stress so yeah maybe some prioritization is needed i mean that's a practical advice here in whatever area this resonates for you for and again the three of coins can be prioritizing things even getting help and advice in prioritizing things as well but i feel in this energy you know it, it just feels like there's real positive exciting change some luck in your favor and for a lot of you I, I feel this is an energy this is the change that you've been waiting for beautiful reading but it does take into account these energies are not easy they're not easy energies five of swords is a victory but it's not an easy victory so both of these cards kind of mirror each other in that way Final message for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Three cards, Scorpio. Okay, we have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical... I keep on saying flary because I want to say blessings and fairy at the same time. <laughs> so magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Nice. We have motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Yeah, that is just the motivational energy of just keep on going. Keep on going because it's going to pay off. You're going to get the recognition, the thing you want. And we have hope. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.